a thing, you know what I mean? So, I go, I call it, I go from scratch, fully scratch, you know what I mean? And see how everything turn out. I'm going to go and set up the stream and find the video or the live stream. One second there. Once we find that, then we can go ahead and start. Yeah, so as you can see, step sequence are blank, everything blank. We don't have no general direction. I'm going to go with it. So let me mute this stream real quick. All right. Yeah, so let me see. We don't know the general direction. I'm going to go with it, but we'll do something. Um. I don't know, some trap, I guess. I'll we'll do it from scratch. Probably incorporate a couple of samples or some vocal chops or something, but I just now have a full idea of how I'm going to go about it. So let me get a scale loading. I work in a, um, a weird scale, matter of fact. I'm going to go with. The, the Phrygian scale. So I use something outside a uh, major minor scale. I use something different. Um, so I'm going to find FL Studio Sampler. What I found, I'm just insert um, what's a good VST for start with. Um, yeah, for start, to start. I got to a VST the other day, but I remember which one. Um, I use the one I never use. One video anyway, so I'll we'll use Poly M. Don't tell me why I use this in a video, matter of fact. Let me double check. Yeah, I never use this. I use this in a one rhythm. In a rhythm named Bloody Moonlight. I use a pluck out of it, but outside of that, I never use it. So we'll go with that. We'll go in a sample and we'll get. Let me see. i use the Phrygian scale. So let's load in right there. So I'm going to use. Which key? Or just do E. And let's get everything set up. All right, cool. So we are that. Um, next thing we have to do is just start with a melody. So let me say we are doing something trap. So it's find something more sound trap so factor sound and we need either a pluck or you know a key in a really matter alright um we'll probably Go to the piano and swap this and build the first melody and then swap out the instrument. Because I like build melody with VST, especially if I already have a sound selected because then that kind of waste time with me to look for a sound. So I'm going to build the melody with just a piano and then swap it out to something else later. So but I'll try this first and if it don't work out, then me swap it. Let's drop my tempo to 91. Let's invert them to low card. Nah. That's what I say. Better if I just start with a piano car. While this can be a good melody, the sound don't write. So, you get rid of poly M and we'll use X pan to start or load in the acoustic natural grand piano. Know what I mean? And that's fucker. So.
Let's loop that. Only do them now. Okay, no, 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 it's alright, cool. Let's drunk them out, I'm shutting them up. Put back another poly. Find a different song. I like this. I'm not like um something about it. I don't really use that plugin that too much, so I'm gonna try to find the effects are. So we have one here, reverb delay chorus. So I turn off. Oh, I turn them off. Oh, so let's just put the delay upon dry. Nexus. Yeah, man, turn the world on, bro. Good. And I'll get the two to hit in the dance orchestra expansion. All the way at the bottom. Right here. Turn the stone to half. And I'll put one here and one here. One here, and one there. Drop it to octave. Modify the main melody. Take out all of them. Take this and shift all of them thing over. And I'll also shorten all of them up. Now 
drop the active on this. So alt R or randomize it first. Get more of a human touch to it, and um, then we do lower this like that. I will lower that, and then both of them will lower them a little bit more. I'm gonna drop them on active. Next, I'll turn down, let's turn down, expand a little bit, or turn down the, the, the original pluck a little bit too. Um, I have a snare I'm going to add. New channel. Cool. The reason why the edge height look like that is because it's, it's hard clipped, the more I say, in a music, so. Let's um, add this near. So what I do with me add all of the little low velocity snare them in between is basically just to give the snare a little bit of movement. So if I take out them little one here. And it just sound normal. Now just give it a little bit of um, movement like me say. Let's bring this back a little bit. Um, I also do add some I never use, so never use this, so I'll do a little bit of a accent. Let's turn this back up. Actually, let's just normalize it. There we go. Now we can turn it down. Now with this, we do do just like a accent chop. I'll put this at three. I'll take off this. Don't raise the velocity upon that. Make it fade up. And we'll pan it to the left. Or oh, sorry, that's the right. Pan it to the left. Then we'll put this upon the left side but we don't make this fade down from this right or so so basically we one start and go up the other one start and go down um let me say it's just an accent so not really have to be noticeable like that just need for did it Just come across this. See if we can incorporate it. Alright, cool. So Alright, so when the snare licks you have ten and ten ten. Want it come on the second part. Just like that. We're only gonna make it play on the last part. Um, there is some stumps in here as well. Right here.
you can do is can lay it up with Nexus. Just on the first hit, so I'm going to pee on the road, make sure I set the loop, not turn on. And drag that out. Cool. I'm back in uh, the same kit I'm in right now. Right click or search and we'll type in church. Should be a church building now. All right. Just because I don't want to load up expand and use up some of the CPU, I just go with this. So let's um put one here, piano roll. Make sure I say it right. That's wrong. Turn this down. No, I'm actually going to use expand. I like the sound of the, um, the expand better a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go on, bro. I'm going to lock in. Yeah, man. GMP. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Pull it up. It's um, Bell. Tubular Bell. One second to copy. Cool. No. Oh. So let's turn on the stump. Come still on the Nexus. We still kind of look a bit of precedence over it. Let's turn on X1. Channel, normalize, trim. There's a specific one I'm going to look for. It's not really this one. Um, but it's in one of these. Close. It look, yep. It look a certain way, so I know I'm not finding it. That's what my both say. But this is it though. So I'll start two steps. Pull back on the trim and pull out, make it fade out a little bit more. I'll increase the start time. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. There we go. Piano roll. So a model is what me call a, a delayed chop or whatever you want to call it. Basically, if if like me do the hi-hat, typically you'd expect a, a chop. Whether you pay attention to it or not, 90% of all hi-hat chops, them happen on either the third note, on the note where the snare I play, which is the third note, on the seventh, the eleventh, the thirteenth, you know. Basically, a lot of odd number shit. So, the best place typically where they put a um, I had chop me, drag this grass look a bit. Most people would have put it right, that's all right. So, it'll be one, two, three, roll. 
You understand what I say? Me no want to do that. So, I want to do it where it's like, you not expect it. You know what I mean? So something like it, get like a, like a delay upon it. So I don't do it upon them notes, yeah, them second notes, because yeah, most people wouldn't expect a higher heart roll upon the second. You know what I mean? So it's like, na 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 ta ta You know what I mean? I'm going to do it finer than that. I'm going to do the two. Also, though, I'm not going to pun it because I have a plug in where I handle all of the pun in. No matter of fact, let me send the hi hat to a channel right now. I'll we'll do 10. I'm going to load up this thing called Traveler from a company named Tanstrom or Tansturm. This shit is just unfucking real. Them pattern now. Mm mm mm. Cool. So now what I tell them to do is just really make velocity change and not have to worry about no pun and we can do some pitch change but outside of that we don't really have to worry about too much more. So quantize, chop, I'll make this one a little bit slower. And do this, quantize, chop. This go up and down velocity wise. We'll fear this and we'll fear this. No, let's find a more suitable pattern for me. Though. Much better. I'll put the mix at 100 percent Let's go back. Cool. So um kick seven. Hold on, homie. I wonder it's so different when I rank it. Yeah, hard vibes. Kick. Seven. New channel. Perfect. All right, cool. So, two things I'm going to do. Because the melody is so short, we can't really do much of a, like a variation with the kick. So for right now, I'll just put it in a small pattern, but we can change it later. Man, things is go over. And then always, if you want, you know, get a more up tempo vibe or whatever, we can just raise the tempo, but I don't think it's necessary. I mean, too slow. I really like that. Not fit to have gone. Actually, I'll lower the tempo down to 90. I'll add me 8 to 8. But scores, um, well, not scores, but um, channel preset to load in 8 to 8. Cool. It's already in key. Let's turn off the envelope while I figure out a pattern. Really can just copy over the kick. All 
left L. Actually, let me say we need to figure out the pattern, so let's just um do that. Alright, so I'll do this. We'll put one here. We'll go up an active deselect. So as well. No, I'm gonna press Alt L, stretch this, and but no, this allow me to do. But my turn about the envelope is we can really like get into fine tune in the pattern. So if I feel like this too long, just shorten it up, get rid of it. And I mean, but I'm gonna do that. So here, don't copy this over. I'm gonna do a slide down. Let me and I'm a candle here. Double click. Turn this now slide note. And go up to active with it. Let me. I'm a candle, really. Just take this, go up to active with it. And then slide down. Turn this up. Actually, let's do this. Cool. All right. Let's go. Two active up. Put one here. No. Regular, and then instead of have this like that, we can do like basically just chop this in a half. Just slide notes and now I got for it. It switches to half step, cut this in a half, and do a slide like that. And I mean, say give me a different sound. And even if you lower the velocity, you still get like a different sound out of that too, because it's not going to be. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's cool. Um, so we need an app for the background. I'm going to need an app and want other app, just like apps. I know why. Um, I'm going to go in a rub pop in. I'm going to Predator. It's been a while. It's been a fucking while. Um, actually, I'm going to use Quad. Let me just get this. So I'm going to use this instead. Hopefully, we can find something in that. Worth it. So, sort of this, sort of the string. I'll duplicate, so I'll get rid of them. Like that. Alt and L. Stretch them. Last period, I have to stretch manually. So, just do that. Quantize them. Back out. Quad, mono pod. Nope. Let's go quick bros. We need arps, arps, arp zones here. Boom. So, stun and stun might load. Um, Yes, Cisco. Um, depends. It depends. If if me feel like it would benefit more from a sign base, I would go with it. Um, but I feel like the 808, because it's a much more laid back rhythm, it's much slower. I feel like the 808 with the movement, you know, the notes, they, they kind of go all over the place. I feel like it can offer more from a from a sound um, perspective as opposed to the sign bass, which because I know the sign bass I got pure. And if you raise it up on active, it all just sound like a pure sign bass. You understand? But when you raise a 808, you get a whole different sound out there. Yes, big up yourself, bro.
I'm like this. I still feel like I need something to go over it. So, I don't go in a tone to I'm going to Icarus. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to Icarus. No, I'm going to Nemesis. Of course, it decides to fuck itself. Um, the touch. Let's go. Well, we're already in the ops, so let's just copy the pattern in. Right, let's replace this with a sampler real quick. And then replace it again. Back with itself. So I sound like with the other one. All right, cool. But I load um, want some perks, more like a percussion loop though. Um, you got hyperventilation, wilderness. I got ninety. I drag the pattern in that playlist. What oh, a percussion loop. Eh, why not? Uh, right click, I'll go. Two bar, auto. So one creative thing I'm gonna do, right? I'll show you a thing. So zoom in. Take this, duplicate it, or just make it unique. Make it unique. Sorry about that. Then reverse it. So we have basically it have play into itself. And then nobody would be the wise like everybody would have think is a synth. <laughs> um, so we have that um, I'm going to more like a bell or something spooky more like a spooky like a pluck I'm going to use serum <laughs> Great, this guy. yo may I tell her brother I'm going to love to do it when I deal with that but uh, not right now probably a couple like a month or so down the line I work on my site mainly right now. So once I get a good amount of content prep and ready and upon my site and you know what I mean, everything good with that, then absolutely. I love for live stream every day because I have to save me the trouble of record video and edit video. If I can just do it live and show exactly what I go on instead of for the edit, edit video because I hate edit. So I find, um, I find a bell. Before I do that, I um, solo out them two melodies. Yeah. I turn on the solo out everything except the app. And what do I do? Like an app page eight pattern. Um, let's go in a serum real quick. Let me bell. This would do. African desire that would do. I will literally let me say so far in RPG a pattern. Alright, just to sit my book up and end up like it. Mm. 
Like I said, some shit just happened by a buck up, you know what I mean? Literally just make a mistake and overlap the note and the fucking marker catch it and that's it. All right, so duplicate this, copy it across. Change one or two or three or a few notes, we don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. This I don't know what the point. Let's go down and come back up. Um uh, we'll change this so go. One, two, three. Actually, one, two, three. No, some wrong. One, two, three. Bumbo clad, dog. <laughs> FL Studio just literally just crashed out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, load up box. Um, what would it have your serum? Memory. I see how good memory be right now. So, the day in a bell, I'm load up with African Zyla, right? Yeah. And if memory suit me right, that's what I'm telling you, man. Make sure it's the auto save turn on in FL Studio. Wait there. Right, that's all. We have 999 backup, brother. Make sure that thing they turn on. I'm not telling a lie. And make sure they pour frequently. Because frequently, this blood clot will crash. So, if I'm not mistaken, I did have the melody. This. Then I have this. I think this all I have. Yep. All right, cool. And then what I did I do? I did I do one, two, three, four. That I did I do. Cool. Up. See, the good thing about this is what I'm like just being creative. The good thing about this is if me raise this up on active, you know, me have it up that high, but just because it no sound good, no means it can't sound good, you understand? So if we take this, we have a few options. You can either pitch it down, can reverse it, we could do both. Um, but we come across this company named Pure Magnetic other day, and they have some really interesting plugin. I don't think Cloud Machine are the one I'm ready to use. But whichever the one I'm ready to use, it did have, it might have been Cloud Machine, but they have some fucking unique plugin that way. You can do some crazy fucking shit. With sounds, it's so weird. Just some weird shit. <laughs> but what we don't do is we don't use slow mo. Down by, or slow down by, um, probably do a bar and see what it sounds like though. I 
and then behind that. Add the reverse behind that and let's see what it sounds like now. Let's put this back at arm. So one, two, three, we'll put that two bar. So this is how we do the reverse. And then this is how we do the reverse. Yeah, man, Siska, I'm not lose nothing, brother. Um, you got my backup folder. Let me see how far it's stretched back. Um, yeah, so you know, yeah, so we have what? 999 backup, and this stretch back all the way to 2019, July 3rd, or March 3rd. I think it's July 3rd, though, 2019. Yeah, yeah July 3rd. And I've read him from last year till now. Yeah, bro. Can't ever have too much backup, I tell you. So, this back in the rhythm. And then the good thing about it, we don't have to have it a hundred percent. So we just need to have a little bit of it. For me, the strings kind of become more of the focal point. Our motto is um. A load contact or support it. It's enough, yeah. SSD. Yeah, man. Pure SSD, bro. Uh, who that? Um, okay, what that? Love, or love vibes, or killer vibes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, killer vibes. Um, yeah, bro. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I can't really discuss them thing that point, point YouTube, but um, join the WhatsApp group, brother. You know, what I mean, small you point in the right direction, or a quick Google search. You know, what I mean, <laughs> you know, you have a seven letter word start with T and with T. <laughs> But you know, YouTube say may encourage piracy, you know and I mean, so we can't really discuss it. Um, I look for the Furia. No, I look for the cinematic ones that stuck out of strings. I'm aggressive and them fit on my arm. I'll go on right now. So I'll copy this, paste this, solo this. What I like about them though is when I play them high and play them hard, I'm so aggressive. That's why I'm going to take out all of the human feeling out that want it sound robotic. Now I mean you also can just take the whole top end, copy, paste, up and active. Or down and active. And then just raise everything and active. Shorten up the notes, them. I'm gonna look a bit more on that. Cool. And if we layer the two of them together, you get that much more, and I know the strings kind of more stick out. So I'm gonna color code everything and get everything on the mixer. Um, so I'll go color gradient. I'll go from a blue to a deep purple. Cool. Um, can rename all of the sounds. So this is a name, Mysterious Stranger. I'm 
Los Pleto al Madrid. So the preset name them, so I just never offer up the VST for rename them. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so we have the iAd pan 10. In reality, it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's track 9, so I need to move this over by 1. I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I need to move this over by 1. And then if we click everything, click that Control Shift L. Everything linked to the mixer. Rename the pattern. What if E Phrygian? So they'll go F2 E P H R Y G I A N. I believe that's how you spell Phrygian. Don't really care. Copy everything. New channel. Hey, big head dog. Shut your bum buckle. <laughs> PSL. Um, all our thing them like that. Um, and then for gonna the playlist now. Can take this pattern one, split by channel, click, highlight, drag, boom, lock. Now lock them into content yet. Um oh shit. We can't need to change the colour. What I'm gonna do is more drag in, my tag, put that at it. Top. Uh, like that. Cool. Switch that out to a bar. Switch to the knife. Chop that. Switch back to the brush. All right. That good, that good, that good. Let's do a quick arrangement. Verse on course. Introverse on course, I mean. All right, so we'll start with that. That. And that. Bring in that. That oh that can start too, and that and bring in that. So if we go back to the top. It's B. Yeah, you're too loud, bitch. Shut up. It's B. The track star. All right, so snare roll right as someone tin tin and tin and literally that's it. So we need to get this, bring it over, insert a new track, shorten this up to simple four bar, make this unique, double click, and we'll go up and active, we'll go tin 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 tin, so. and drop the pitch like that perfect um, let's go back let's go here now insert one new channel or rename it snares or snare what call it snares Put that, lock it, raise it like that, link them to it, to it, lock this to content, minimize that, quick. Cool, we have this, so we'll go perks and effects, we'll go insert one, rename, call it 
perks, let me see. And effects. Yeah, I consider my tag as an effect, so. That's why I'm going to do that. Before I lock it to content, or just make sure so we have them grouped, you know, so. If we run out of space on the inner screen or whatever, we can always, come I like, see my waveform them like that. I'm not like when me have too much things and them look like that. So that's why I'm going to group them so I can just simply just close a folder and get to see all of my clips, them, how them look. All right, so. Yeah, I'll shorten this up because I don't need for that long car, nothing else to the point it. I'm going to cut off all of the unnecessary stuff off of that. That take care of that. Um, nothing else. Yeah, you can do this too. Cool. Alt and B. Duplicate that. Come across here. Do the select. Can do the same thing with this. Um, and that should be that. Can even do it with the tubular bell, actually. Cut. Get the other thing. Alt B. I like them. Just like that. Cool. Perfect. Up T intro. Chorus. Our verse. Nearly want to. Like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, man, killer vibes. Definitely. I just reach out to me on WhatsApp direct, bro. That cool, too. Me, you know, we got it in the right place. I really want to talk about anything up on YouTube. So everything on the same level, so everything so on the same way. So let's drop all our levels. But uh, hopefully the computer hold up or and mix this. Um, so drop all our levels. Um, on 30 with our file, I'm loading with tag preset. So immediately, if me listen to my tag now. It's B. Actually. It's B's, the track star. Cool. Compared to no. It's B's, the track star. Much better, right? Without. It's, B with. it's B's, the track star. No, wider, better, clearer, brighter. Uh, every good adjective where you can fling on it. It's B. Our verb. How long them with a gas coat? Don't pre me. Cool. All right, so another thing I need to do, we need to go through and raise levels. Got everything for the mixer, almost. So levels can turn up, you know. All right, so, um, my thing, do I want to add any type of fix? Um, no, no, come to me right now. Maybe something will come to me later, but for right now, I get a feeling I've none. So let's go back to here. The, um, not double click, but triple, not triple click, but double click, yeah, and change the color on this. So I'll go, what the fuck? Audio. Oh, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? No, no, I'm do, I'm do, I'm do, I'm do. I think, no, I'm gonna delete it. It's still there. So what the fuck I go on? What the fuck is going on now? I'm gonna hide the clip. What go on? That's a reverse clip. That's a the clip where I face forward. So why it not show? I don't like fuckery, no, brother. 
Huh? What the fuck? It doesn't really matter. Long as it a show and it's different. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's too long. Well, watch her. What we'll make it a show like that? Yeah. Bro, what the fuck are going on here, so you know? Okay, it's Bumba Ola. End up on the other side. Okay. So, I'll do this again. I'll clone it first. So, make unique. And then reverse it. Cool. Like that. All right. Now we can do what the fuck we are trying to do. Color green, green, blue. Just like that. And we'll start from the tag, so we'll change the color up on that and link like that. So now, turn them down. All right, fuck. Yeah, and I know shit sound like fucker. So when we mix, we'll start from. Zero or infinity. You know, we don't want to hear nothing. I do start at the intro and start at the chorus. I don't know how to make it a start from the intro, but yeah, so we start with everything at zero. We get the first melody or we main melody mix first and then we worry about everything else because everything else is just a compliment. So the first melody in this track, if we bring this over like a bit, let's bring over them red thing here, yeah, so. Bring them over as well. And really care about my voice over thing. That can stay over there to the right. So we'll bring them there over. So the first thing, the main melody is the spiccata strings. So me personally, because I'm of two in you know, this track, I have to decide like, all right, which one of them are the main one? And which one of them are want to carry the body? So because the Monster staccato I'm using a contact is a more heavier string. But I'll use that for carry the body and use the expand spiccata strings for just be more of the tone, more of the the sound. So what I'm gonna do is stack EQ for start. And we'll basically roll off the lower end because like I said, I know it carry the body, so we don't really need nobody to come from it. So put this back to zero, turn on high quality, take off that. And we'll do not even a super sharp slope, but something with a little bit of a curve on it. And we'll go up to about 200 or so. You know, get rid of all of the low end, because we don't need it. We don't boost the top end. Cool. The number we'll do is FL should have a stock plugin name. What the plugin name? Stereo Shaper. A little of a preset named Dilly. And what it do is it spread out the string. So now you really hear the string a little bit separated. You hear more of the string on the left than on the right. You know what I mean? So what I do is me dial this back, this delay knob, bring that back until it even flat all the way across. So something like that, you know what I mean? Just to kind of get the string flat all the way. Then for the other string, I will do, bring that up. Without, wait. Because this is the one that I know I carry more of the, um, the body of the string. Instead of the stock EQ, I use something more vintage. So what I'm do is we'll filter out up to about a hundred. But we'll boost 15k, about 40 EB. I 
actually can go a little bit higher up on the filter. Because what I can do is, even though I cut out 270, like a high pass filter all the way up to 270, I have a knob here where I can go at 330 and then do a shelf. So if you want to kind of see what that look like, basically what I do with the EQ, more recreate it on a, on a parametric EQ so you can see exactly what I go on. So the, what the first thing what we do, we do a, um, a high pass filter up to 270. So if we got 270 or so, I don't know what the, the slope is for this. Some of the think is kind of, kind of steep. So 24 dB per active. I'm not sure what the slope. Can't figure it out, but we don't really have time for all of that right now. So we do um, that. So this are the, the high pass filter right here. So then we have a 15K shelf. So if I come in here and just type in, let's delete all of this. 15 and K. But they are 15K, and if we change this to a high shelf and boost it by 4 dB, this is what we are doing with this and that right here. So, them two nabia. So, the 15K boost what we are doing. Then over here, so at the 270 now, or the 330. So, if I double click again and then find 330. So, right there, so if we change the slope or the shape to uh, a low shelf, and like I said, we do add back little. So if me for boost anything, basically, this is what that would look like. So I'm going to do probably like a four and a half dB boost. So basically, this EQ, I this may do with it. You know what I mean? So just to kind of get your understanding. I don't need to see that because I know, you know, what it look like. But just in case you're confused about anything, that I want me to do. All right, now, the last thing, basically, I'm going to pull down the input. So, if you explain that, the signal what I got in it, I turn that down. So, less of that, the signal there, I come in, but more of the signal with the EQ on it, I come out. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pull it back by four, but I'm going to increase this knob by four. So we are hearing more of the process signal as opposed to the dry signal. Let's delete this. Cool. Can start adding other instruments and also the first instrument we don't add secondary is the, the two to hit. Can get all of this off of the screen, just press F12. Just like that. So with the two they hit, it have bass. We don't really need too much of the bass. We just need a little bit of it. So they'll filter out some of it. That's about cool. 107. We also can add a little bit at the top. Nice looker bell curve. Just where I look a bit at the crash while you're hearing that. Just make sure I say the underneath all everything else. Cool. Have the main plug or the first plug. Nice. Kind of treat this like the, the two to hit a filter. Most of, um, most of our go on. So we don't go full wave right there. So let's change this to a little bit of a wider. And then we'll introduce the first reverb. So we don't go the TC electronics verb. I'll just put TC verb. Change the color to something random. I'm like, and I'll load up a reverb from TC Electronics. We use the M430 or the M M40.
Yeah, intelligent Majusa see them emoji the damn thing they shot, bro. <laughs> yeah, people so unfortunately them fucking reverb they now load, so no worries. Um I did the filter, right? Yeah, so we don't just go with the old trusted reverb them, so we go with the Valhalla. Never blood cloud let me down yet. So Vintage verb. I'll use it for a plate setting. And um, this, like a lot of other reverbs, don't have a, a built-in sync button. You know what I mean? To sync it up to your session. So an easy way to find out the tempo of your session is literally if you just calculate 60,000 divided by your tempo. My tempo right now is 90. So we divide that, we get 666. 0.6666666, whatever. Never work. So that are the quarter note time. Alright, so we'll put in 6.6666666667. Boom, we get 6.67. Cool. Then if we split that in a half, so if we divide 6.67 by 2, would I get what? 3.32. What the fuck? Yeah, I can do that in my head. So we're gonna get 3.32 3 5. Yep. Because 6 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, that's a 3.3. 3. And then the 7 divided by 2 would be 3.5. So yeah, 6. Point, I mean 3.325. 3 so that's our reverb time for the quarter note or for the eight note. I'm confuse somebody. Somebody got confused. Oh my God. <laughs> I go for the 1980s setting. I would switch this to a plate. Like plate. Like food. Something like plate. <laughs> Don't mind me a blood clot. I was sent to you like that. Cool. So I do about 20%. Back with everything. Can I always raise the string if we need? Oh, yeah, man, still is um, FLO and Crash, bro. So I did a fair reload up everything. That, uh, that did it go. So we have that, so let's go. Sneer. Let me say this a sneer is an accent. So we are going to treat it like it's an accent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need the instrument to go. Crush back and we'll go bite. Actually, I'll go freak. And what is do? It just fucking manipulate the sound. It's, I don't know. It's just some sort of modulation. I don't really care what I do to the snare, to be honest. I just want it to do something more. The snare now do make it now play normal. So there's something for alter the sound of the snare. I'll we'll send it to the reverb to see him way. You know and I mean, I don't really care why though. I just want it to play normal. Then we have the other snare now. Uh, play like a clap. So I kind of exaggerate upon that. So I run the reverb a little bit other than that. Cool. Then we have the stamp. What we lay up with the Nexus hit. Or we just go filter out some of the low end just the same. Up to about 70. You know, 
me a reserve basically space for me eight or eight when it come in. You know, and if you don't need loan upon an instrument, just get rid of it. It not gonna hurt, but it will help. It will go a long way. Cool. So let's go back. Two bit of bell. I'm gonna do the same exact thing without filter out. I'll filter out a lot more. Oh type, I'm not gonna boost nothing. But I'm gonna filter out a lot of um out of the low end. And then forget about the sound of the bell, forget you have the illusion of the bell without boost it with reverb. Something, hold on, something, something, something. Bell, 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 bell. There we go. Then we also can mono this. Play straight down the center. But, one way me like if you operate with a tubular bell, forget it, if you play straight down the center instead of you make it mono, just use a limit and in a this situation we don't use the the L um I'll use the L1 and I'm gonna use the L2. I will just set this. Uh, Alright, so I'll set this to 15. I would have set this to 20. I'll put this one auto, lower it a little bit. Cool. Perfect. Increase the reverb. Move on. Hi hat. Not really much to do because we already have the the effect was one point in high art, so it's really just the volume wise. Kick. Cool. I have a bus, or I'm normally run my 808 through, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the 808. Right click on an empty track, I wrote to this track only. So now this track here is the only track where I'm here to play through. It now go to the master no more. And um, for my desktop, I'll just pick one. Ready one recently. So I got done. I got executive badness, bones, chop, mixer, bass auxiliary. And what I'm going to do is we change the tone of the 808 with this. Now I have the compressor panel that I use for the side chaining already. So I need to route that. So I'll send the kick to the same channel as a side chain to this track. Then we'll go into the settings, right click and change this to kick 7. Make sure so we kick come through. We should be seeing my kick going in there. What's going on? Setup, setup, external side chain, yeah. Processing, side chain, kick seven. Why the fuck didn't it change? There we go. So now the 808 kind of take a box seat when the kick a play, right? But like when we kick a play around minus five, no, I mean plus five, you know, this set to plus 4.2, that's fine. Um, the 808 level is lower, so that's why it sounds so, so I'll just bring that up and Send the strings to the verb. I also don't load up a plate from Arturia. I will also send the strings to that as well. So here. We have up. Now 
not really much to do. What I'm do is just get, like me say, or get rid of the low end on it. Because I need it anyway. So this is an app. So it can go all the way up to, let's say about two, three hundred. And if we need to get it back in the atmosphere, we can just add it to the, the reverb. The end of the video, I pray, brother. My link for WhatsApp, man. You know where the thing I go on. Then we have the second app. What may I do with this? Sound ties. Pan man. And we do do one of them not triggered pan. But um, rhythmic pun. I'm also sometimes have a tremor, a tremolo effect. Name tremolo later. Oh, my daughter is with daughter something. Something like that. We need to increase the output level. Even though the depth all the way up, we can still get back some volume. I call me on me up on a live stream. <laughs> then we have last thing now. What I'm going to do is pump both of these. I'm lick a bit of the regular signal for bleed through. So I'm going to bring this back to like 30 seconds. I mean 30. And then we already have this other one, huh? Yeah. I'm like that. What I'm going to do with it is first run it to a EQ. There's a lot of filtering going on, you know what I mean? So I'll get that little bit the top, little bit at the lower. And then we'll get movement. Different type of movement. So we'll go and we'll load up bro motion from waves. And bro motion, bro motion, bro motion. Why is it thing that in here? Alright. So, okay, mama. We have 10. Bro, motion. Watch out. How are we going? Yeah, you fool, fool, blood, blood, plug in, stop, play, man. And then this one. And then this one. Need a. Okay. Since me, I eat that. No, I mean. Since I'm a fucking idiot. Bro, motion. Watch out. How are the bumbo? Dog. I don't know if you're a fuck, so I'm going to just say that thing, Nana, bro. Yeah, this is crazy. We have VST 10. Berserk. Watch out. All right. Oh, yeah. ZST3. Sick. Bro, motion. My God. What a fucking scavenger on that. 
Yeah, so all this allow me to do is we can move left to right and we can move in a circle. We don't turn off the circle when I really want that. So we mute that. Turn up the mix to 100%. I would change the, the movement or change it to four bar. So it's much slower, but we need to do it on the second one. So we'll keep on going. You can hear the sound of travel. You understand what I'm saying? So, cool. So now, take this back out. And it's just ear candy, and I'm going to treat it as ear candy. Um, yeah, David, um, me use them once, brother. I'm like them, for tell you the truth, me like them. But for tell you the goddamn truth, bro, the reason why I don't really use flex as much is because when me I be there with them, it never crossed my mind, bro. I swear, like, it never really ever crossed my mind. Like, a lot of VST, sometimes if I buck, buck up on them when I be there with them, me use them because I say, oh, shit, a long time when I use it. But, yeah, a lot of them, bro, them never ever crossed my mind. Um, like, even this, uh, the second time I use a VST, yeah, the first time I used it uh, last year. And I have it since then. It's just like, I don't really think about it. I think Nexus expand and them thing there, like, immediately as I go in the FL, bro. I think, think crazy, dog. Yeah, 357, why you pray? Why go on, brother? Yeah, so that's it as far as the mixer go. So, I'm walking through my master bus, right? So, I'm going to load my master bus. All right, so. Immediately, like, when we throw this on, I'll change the settings if you fit this already, man. But immediately by me just turning it on, my voice jumps straight through the roof. You understand what I'm saying? That's how your shit get loud, basically. So if you listen to shit, reload, turn it down. So, first thing, or the last thing upon it is a meter. We need to, you know, monitor our level. So, let's swallow that out. Turn on the first plugin. Cool. So, the first thing in a master bus, if we, let me smile this up. First thing for a master bus is a EQ. Let me say, it's a lot of filtering I go on. The idea behind this is below, contrary to popular belief, humans, no human, can hear below 50 hertz. You know what I mean? Scientists, so. don't ask me what make. And you can't hear, most humans can't hear above 20,000. Me personally, my hearing go up to I think thirteen or fourteen thousand hertz. So me filter out shit what me can't hear or me no need anyway. So I take off anything above nineteen thousand six hundred. Me filter that, and anything below thirty. Sometimes me go even higher than that. Me filter that out same way. What that do is it make the bass come forward a little bit more. It add clarity, so it make even vocals are the top end kind of come forward a little bit more. So everybody not gonna hear the difference, but just you know, more A B it, and you know we go from there. So so this are without it. And this are with it. Cool. Next, one more this one. You know, turn it on and off while it's a play. And also, if you watch me, my levels on the meter without the EQ. Just watch my levels, right? See how the lowest part of the rhythm are minus five, minus six? That's how I aim for. When I mix, your levels never not supposed to be nowhere higher than minus four at the lowest. You understand what I'm saying? So, I never have no meter up, but I'm just so used to my headphone, used to the, the levels, kind of just, you know, figure it out on the fly. So, this is how the, the EQ on. I would like me to say, well, go in and out at the EQ. The most noticeable difference for me is that the, the strings stick out. I mean, play rhythm, make a hear it. You know, you're rhythm, I play, nigga. <laughs> uh, 
Men jag um, blir det front up. Um, um, yeah. Turn on everything. Shit load. Uh, solo, solo. That shit load. <laughs> and next, um, a bus compressor, which may not like get no more than 40 BRSO compression. At the most, probably like three. As you can see, the knee gonna go nowhere past four. I'm gonna have to yell if it even go close to four. So, like back to the chorus. It's all about it. With it. Now, 808 start come forward even more. And we have another EQ. Just add some more filter and because the 808 start come forward too much. So, 35 hertz and below, get rid of it. And you can hear the bass come forward. I take with bass and I get bass. That's some crazy shit. Let's change the slope. 36. Ah, oh, fuck it, 30. Next, tape machine. This is how I should really get crazy. It just add clarity. Come, I love it for that. As you can hear, my voice start get louder. So my tough I'm turning on the mic. Cause shit about to get loud. And then first, I have two limiters. So we have the Pro L first, and then we have Elevate from um, New Fungal. So the Pro L are the first limiter I'm use, and that pretty much carry me close to zero. Basically, I already a clip. Every one of them red peak, that means I a clip, right? So I clip, or me a clip purposely a minus 0 0.4. And then when we go in a saturate, which this thing is like, wouldn't say God, but this thing is as close as it get. <laughs> so I go hard clip it now. So if we just play. Remember, so we already there almost zero, you know? So if we switch this to manual and set this to minus. 0 0.2 or 0 0.1, that's fine. Watch the bar on the meter. It does stay green. Right now, if you play, you will see it go red, but it does go right up to zero and it does go green. And no matter how much more I push into this thing, it will never go past and go into the red. <laughs> One second, let me put a quick arrangement on this. So the hook. So the verse, we can take out xylophone and take out one of the app. Take out the hi-hat for the first part.
get rid of the repetitiveness out of this. Let's go um, delete. Let's go back to the intro. Let's bring up the um, tab there. Boom. Here, send it to both of the reverb. I have a thing called tag delay. Which is basically just a presetting of the Valhalla delay. Play that. Cool. So I have the perks. I um, need to um, bring up here. Before this thing I start crackle up, my back off out of the mastering. Um, I'm coming on to start crackle up. So let's bring in the perks and get them situated. I mean, that get body of fuck, brother. And it's not even a limiter, bro. It's a clipper. It's a hard and a soft clipper. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not really want to confuse nobody. This thing is a clipper. It's more of so saturation, just like the name say. This I saw is a limiter. You know, the, um, the, pro, the pro L. This thing, uh, do some things if I try to do it with the pro L. No, sir. We can't do that. Cause this, the, the hard clipper can push me past zero while keeping me under zero at the same time, if you understand what I say, because if you think about it, let me bring up the two of them, let me make this look a bit smaller. Yeah, if you think about it, you know, bro, when I left out of the, the fab filter, the limiter, remember some of them minus 0.4, you know, some of the four little tenth of a dB away from zero, and then when I come in at the clipper, I still push, Another 3.2 dB out of the signal without going past zero. You understand what I'm saying? So it's crazy if you explain, but it's easy if you understand. Basically, we can summarize it is just saying it can get me past zero without taking me past zero. <laughs> easy if you explain it. So yeah, if you bring me in at the, the verse, we'll chop out some of them thing here. Yeah. Forget we into the verse. So yeah, let's get rid of this. Highlight all of this. Do also take out the synth. Look up on the bass. I'm mean, gonna like how it kinda may I hear a lot of color in the bass. So we don't switch the recovery time on this to fast, we don't take it out of triple and put it in a double and turn on the mixer a little bit. Much better. Here, I'm going to go dun, dun. So yeah, we'll chop this. Make it come in here, we'll go now and then the other blue brush. We'll take this, we need to get the kick, bring this cross like that. We'll bring this cross. Chop off that. Copy this. Cool. What well, is the same thing with this uh, string of here, sir? Chop off that. Now, I mean, and can get all of this. Actually, no, I can get rid of the snare roll. Left them to look at things right so. And that will bring me back into, you know, the course. So, copy. 
with this. Come across here, so. And then we'll go chorus. Need to change that to rename. All right, so my master bus not really have that much space, but we have a little bit of work with. I think we have three slots. Uh, add a couple of little things. We'll add them after the EQ, but before the bus compressor. First one is a, a filter. We've got sound tires for that. We've got filter freak too. Coming out of the, the second chorus, with our filter like the second half of the, the course. So we don't filter out all of this. And we don't use filter freak. And we don't use a thing called the blue glitch. This is a ancient plugin, right? I say you no know, long may I use a plugin here. Oh my god. It's free as well. If you type in the blue glitch on Google, you will find it. Um it was a free plugin. And that them get the idea of a glitch from and all of them other plugins that do the same thing. And that them get it from what none compared to the original man, I tell no lie. Um, so yeah, we need for um what the fuck you name it? Jerome Brown. I'm um, not really, bro. I'm just really, really mix it and I'm really there right now. I put a good arrangement on it. I stream again when I'm done with this video. Um, I do a different style of rhythm, something more happy, more up tempo. Um but yeah, I put in um, some filters, some little transition on this one right now. So we want to find a nice little preset in this. So we'll go in a rhythmic and let's um, find something nice. All right, we have the whole master turn off. So let's turn that back on. Hmm, kind of like this. So, yeah, because the filter on it off at my voice, of course. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. We don't feed into it. So, basically, what I mean by that is we don't leave the power button or the on off button. We don't leave that on, but we don't automate the, the mix button. So, we don't go copy value. Boom. We don't create automation clip. Boom. Oh, come in here, so right click, right click and drag. But we don't want it to stay past the course, so we'll fade it out on the last part of the course. So if we play it now, But I'll make it come out right there, so you can drag this back like that. Cool. I'll make it come out there, so I know we don't make the D blue, the glitch now. Um, matter of fact, I create a new thing. Put all of my automation clip them in a one like a folder, if you want to call it that. Sorry, name automation. Make this block. Enter. Lock. Minimize. Lock. Done. Insert quick fast. All right. So now, if we're going to do blue glitch and turn on this, it's a tricky plugin. Sometimes you have to kind of get familiar with it to get it for work. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to so make sure it's everything is so good. Yeah, turn on the ES yes, maximum. Boom. Supposed to have yep, notify by rendering on. With a ton of transport, so we just make it move freely. Or the turn off MIDI. Now, the effects I want to use, I want to use the gate and the tape stop. So how we do that is, what we can do is we can shorten up the, the blocks. So we only need it for one liquor quarter of a bar. This thing will loop for a whole bar. So we only need for one liquor quarter. So we need the gate effect right at the front. You know what I mean? And basically a gate is exactly what that is. A gate no vice is open and close. Cool. After that, (laughs) 
That shit sounds so weird for talk while me I do this shit. So yeah, we'll get into a re-trigger into a tape stop. Cool? So just to make it play up on my voice, basically what that sound like. You know, if you get the basic idea. So let's um let's free this up and then let's shift all of this stuff down. I'll shift it all the way to the end. I'll just use it normally instead of a block off some of the pattern. So if we put this here, make this play from here, and then now the machine. So what we need to do is turn on the amount of the tape I got stop by. So I'll put this at like five. I'll put the speed up at like three. The gate without put a three. The re-trigger without put the speed on the re-trigger a little bit lower than that. And then what we can do is just loop the section until we figure out what's going on. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And I do this. Probably can do it without the um without the glitch. Some probably do is just do. Oh my god, that shit sounds so weird. Like a reverse So we automate everything so we'll automate the mix level upon this. So we'll go create automation clip. And we'll put this at 100. I'll make it fade in though. Like that. Boom. We'll go up. We'll make this on an end. Oh my god. That shit sounds so weird. Damn, that shit sounds weird. Huh? <laughs> Uh, so we have that. So now we'll put the compressor behind all of that. And this is actually. Fuck that shit sound loud. I will play all of that. From, you know, feeding into the um, the filter. So we'll do that. So this is the course, second course. Here goes the crackling. Let's turn off some of them. We're gonna just. Um. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the bomb buck, lad, dog? Oh, my so weird, the fuck. Bomb buck, lad. Try and tell us if we start to make our produce. Talk to us. <laughs> so I'll copy about the verse add some changes and then 
You know, that's it. Put a watch up on it and we're good. Boom, so verse, yeah, so. First, let's go tools, go mockers, smart switch disable for all plugins. Basically, what I do, it turn off any plugin one arm play. That's where you see the, the little CPU meter jump down a while ago. So. Cool, so we don't change this right there, so I'll take out all of that. Take out that. So we add a little bit of some more change, so we don't do. So we come in here, so we have. So I was like, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to do a more rapid one after. So what I'll do, Alt and C, get the knife tool, chop off all of that, chop off all of that. Zoom in, see what I go on. Um, so what are the strings, what are the strings, what are the strings, what are the strings? All right. So go Alt and B, there go. Oh, shit, no. Highlight. Bring over one, come back, go back, back. And we can delete any of the blank clips, them, you know. We got 200 in a second. But yeah, we can always delete them thing there. Um, so that can go. And we have this and now. Where the um where the, where the, where the, where the. Um, put a stream guy. Hear me? Right. Where the kick there? Where the kick? Kick, kick. Oh, see it, see it, see it. Yeah. So bring this back. So let me so go. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So I need to locate the kick here. Bring this back. Shorten that. I will just press Control and B four times. Or three times. Just like that. Highlight all of that. And now I'm going to hold on upon Alt. Go to the edge, get the arrow. And drag back like that to shorten it up. And then if we go back in at the chorus, what we do is we do something like a tenant. It's like tenant, tenant. We're working at the chorus. So what do we do? We need three, right? So we need to get, actually we only need two, but we don't grab three. So we need them three, yeah? And we do if we chop off or get rid of the right? So, so we left a little ear gap. And what I mean by tenant, I would change the card. So I'll do this. Um, and we'll do some automation too. So I need to get this out of the way for right now. And hold on. Oh no, yeah, cool. So, so I'll take this, we'll put it here, so. We'll copy it like that. You know what I mean? We don't shorten up this, not by a lot, just a little bit of a gap. What I also do is, let me say, I'll do some automation. So we do do some master feed automation. We don't copy the value at the position right now. We don't come here. We don't make one whole little clip like that. We don't create an automation clip for the master feeder. So we'll play with the volume. Um, we need to drag it up to. The automation window right here. And what I'm going to do is we'll basically match up the automation with them. So I want this first one here, right? So let's go one piece. 
Nah, I'm telling you, FL Studio definitely need to upgrade them automation clip thing, brother. Almost every blood clot, but they have a better automation um, type of thing than, than FL Studio, bro. I'm going to like it. So, with a lower the volume, get like a, a real, like a, something like a, I feel like it a fade up. And I mean, I would lower this a little bit. So, kind of like the tremolo thing when we do earlier. And instead, I even forgot you and copy and fuck all of them. I just copy this thing. I don't know, like, uh, like oh, the automation thing working in the FL studio. So, I'll do that. And I'll do it just again. And I mean, can I look a bit of some dramatic to it? Cool. So we walk, play. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then, like I said, we have, have that. Bring it back into the chorus. Uh, we need to get rid of this. Um, delete. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, and then can use the snare as a part of it as well. Cool. And then take this automation clip, put it there so. Now we can start kind of lock all of them things at the content. All right, not not either so. Cool. Lock the content, lock the content, lock the content. And close that. And that's exactly what me, me, me group them up because right now I'm gonna like see the window like this. So when I group them, I can get for some clips them and see the notes them and all of them type of shit. So that's the main reason why I group them up. So you can get for see the plugins or get for see the clips them in a better, a better view. So that take care of that. I would if you do know a copy. The first verse, put it at the end. And put outro. And then put chorus, yes, sir. And that's the rhythm. And that take over one hour, 54 minutes. Okay, cool. Fully mix, fully master. Fully ready. Um, so if I play this back from right there, like a please, I'm going to just add. Come yeah, on, Morris, no, but big up on yourself. What's up, short time? Um, big up yourself to see when you know, but big up yourself, Charlie Bling, dog. You know, I pray, you know. Yeah, man, so I put on all the master stuff for the master effects on it and play back from the top, hopefully. I'll know me not even save it, my God. So let me save it. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'll just put it on the desktop as blah, blah, blah. And um, turn on back all of the master effects them. Yeah, and let's um, add your settings. Let's purge everything real quick. Macros and then um, smart disable, and then we can mute my mic and play it. And yeah, see it's on.
Everything sound good, man, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I bounce it. Make one of the visualizer feed. I upload it to the channel. About 20 minutes or so far now. Let me see my live stream again in about a half hour. My friend, some blood clad dumpling. I dare me hungry. Ugh. Yeah, that. So, until next time, it's a boy. It's me, it's the track star. Peace. Oh, yeah. Big up everybody who come out. Come check out the stream. You understand what I say? Can't let for that. Viewership is much appreciated. Boom.